Per the recent announcement by His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado in his 16th address, nursery, kindergarten, primary and first year junior high school and senior high school students will have to stay home until January 2021. This shutdown, according to some members of the Ghana National Association of Private Schools, is a threat to the future of basic school pupils and its teachers. I have come to the Good Shepherd International School where I met final year students being prepared for the BEC exams. Afra Georgina is a home economics tutor. And since COVID, it has become very difficult for teacher, private school teachers for since March salaries have not been paid and we are with families. You can imagine as you are with family and children without salary for almost six months now. You can imagine we are all human beings. Currently, Georgina solely relies on her husband for survival. I'm a family woman. I'm married with three children. And at the same time, I have a helper including. So, normally, my husband bears the cost of everything. But currently, I can't support because there's nothing in my family. Unlike Afra Georgina, Frank Osei, also a tutor at the Good Shepherd School, is currently surviving with the support of his parents. And then, nothing, absolutely nothing. We've not received anything at all. Some of us, we are lucky enough to have our parents around, so at times we just have to go back home just to get something. So, at times, we, we are young, but we go through a lot, a lot of thinking. Aside these challenges private school teachers are being faced with, the Ghana National Association of Private Schools have described government's decision as unacceptable. The group says government appears oblivious of the hardship private school owners and workers are going through as a result of the school's closure. Mr. Charles Afna Kwame is the chairman of the Techiman chapter of the Ghana National Association of Private Schools. This has brought a big hardship to the proprietors and then the teachers, those who are working with us. Many of us have heard that some of the teachers have found something to do, meaning that when even government reopens school in January, you are going to find it difficult to uh, get teachers to come and work with us. So, uh, true, the COVID has brought a very severe uh, problem for we, the proprietors. Mr. Ivan Siao Tom is the headmaster of the Presby Trinity School. For him, the closure of schools is not only affecting the teachers, it's also affecting the pupils as well as their parents. The children at home now, nobody is teaching them. For close to one year, if you don't attend to them, when they come back, it is going to put another burden on, on the teachers. Okay, number two, many of my, my parents are government workers, nurses, teachers, police officers, security officers and those people. Now, they have to go and get somebody who will be taking care of their wards. So every now and then, they keep calling, Mr. Evans, when are we coming? When are our wards coming? This and that, this and that. So it is putting much pressure on parents, and the parents are also putting pressure on us. Mr. Evans shares with us how the current state of affairs has led to the loss of jobs of his teachers, adding that the situation could even get worse. For now, I, I can say that some of the teachers have lost their job already, especially from KG to P6, because it is when you come to school that we pay you. Now you are not coming, so we don't pay you. So automatically, I have 25 teachers in my primary school. All of them have laid them off because I can't pay them. These people we've been engaging all have a simple plea to government. We are appealing to the government if you uh, fast track the loans that he is giving to the proprietors, the earlier the better. He, to save those who are in the school now. Or if he can absorb the teachers and give a small token, part of the salary that even they are, that will help. We are saying that at least the government should have a second look at how 
he is opening. Students keep calling, say, when are we coming? When are we coming? When are we coming? So we only have to be telling them, you exercise patient, we are listening to the government and those things. So the government should have a second look at some of the decisions. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.